supposed to go for a run today. I was supposed to go for a long run. I had a training run planned in in my training diary. However, it got changed because of the rain. Today's plan has changed again. Yesterday, I raced in the Zwift race, crit race, that I filmed and was last week's video. Good news, I finished in the top half. Seventh out of 16. This week's video is the day after last week's video, if that makes sense. But I was supposed to go for a long run yesterday. It was absolutely chucking it down outside. So I postponed the long run. I decided to do a crit race for fun instead of running. Well, it's happened again today. I've, op I've woken up this morning, I didn't look at the weather forecast, and I've now checked the Met Office, and in the UK, the weather forecast for today is torrential rain and thunderstorms. The rain at the moment is relatively heavy, but it's gonna get gradually worse throughout the afternoon. So that's kind of put a dampener on my plans. I've decided instead of running, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on Zwift. I'm not racing today, I'm gonna to do something different. And the reason why I'm doing something different is originally I was gonna do another FTP test. It's been about eight weeks, nine weeks since I bought the Watt bike that I'm standing next to and signed up for Zwift and started racing. I did two FTP tests. The first one I ballsed up, which is one of my videos. Right at 360 watts. Oh my God. And then the second one was a, um, a second attempt at my FTP test, which, you know, was okay. So I was gonna do another one to show my gradual progression, but they're pretty boring, um, and I didn't, I haven't really got the motivation to do that. So I've decided today, instead of doing an FTP test, I am gonna climb out to Zwift. I am currently training for an ultra in September, and part of my training plan means I've gotta do about three or four long runs a week to gradually build up my stamina. A long run is supposed to be a low heart rate, slow as possible, feeling comfortable, and build up your stamina and, and, and gradually improve your overall fitness and endurance. I can't do that today because of the rain. So I'm gonna do the Zwift equivalent. The longest I've been on this bike so far is an hour. When I've been Googling out to Zwift for my weight, for my level, I'm level eight at the moment on Zwift. Looking at those stats, it says it's gonna be about two to three hours for me to climb out to Zwift. I don't know whether that's realistic. So zigzagging, I make my way up the 21 hairpin turns and I'll cover 12.2 kilometers, which is about just over seven and a half miles as I make my way up the 1,036 meter mountain. So there is an achievement for getting it under an hour. I don't think I'm gonna do that today, um, but I have taken some tips from a few websites that says how to prepare to take on the Out to Zwift. So I've decided to do the Road to Sky route. The Road to Sky route is in Watopia and I reach the Alp at 7.2 kilometers. So I get a 7.2 kilometer warm up, which I think, which I think is gonna be okay for me. So work out what time I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for sub 60 minutes. If I don't get it today, then I'll try again another time. This is the interesting bit. So that I've, worked, I've worked this out. That's at least 3.2 watts per kg average that I need to do for the entire ride. For me, 3.2 watts per kg is a constant average of 355 watts <laughs> up the mountain. I can do that. So it says I need to fuel three hours before I've had breakfast. Pick a lightweight bike. I don't have the option to pick a lightweight bike. I've only got the bog standard Swift entry level bike because I'm a level eight. So I'm gonna use Out to Swift today as my training instead of running. So for me, as a heavy cyclist who loves hills when racing, not, is gonna be very hard. So I'm looking forward to this. Some of the things that I've done, right, let me show you this. Let me show you my setup. I've got my spare water that I'm gonna be using during the ride. I've got my main water. I've also got some saurine bars that I'm gonna use. I've got some energy gels. I've got some salt tablets, which I'll take halfway to make sure that I don't get dizzy. That is pretty much everything I need. I've got my heavy duty padded shorts on to allow me to cycle for two hours plus without my ass going numb. I'm ready to go. Let's do this, get on the bike and start the warm up. Let's do this, start ride. Okay, we started. This is the ride. So I'm gonna use the next seven kilometers as a warm up. 
So I've just gone through a green gate and I'm wondering whether this is the official start of the Alp Zwift. Aha, here we go. Yep, this is the start. Alp de Zwift. Jesus. I've got a pacer ghost in front of me, which if I follow, apparently will get me up in an hour and 11 minutes. Is that what that means? That's what that icon above his head said. On a 10% incline already at the start of the Elder's Wift. I've got the fan on. Got the, I've got the towel, didn't forget it. Got my music on. I've got my snacks and plenty of water and a salt tablet if I feel dizzy. So let's do this. Tainted love you've given. Take my tears and that's not really love. Tainted love. We're just coming up to the first corner. Corner 21. I've taken it relatively easy on this section. I woke up today with this feeling Better things are coming my way Keep moving, don't stop rocking Ah, get on up When you're down Okay Increase gears That's the first corner And decrease gears Come and come and come and come and come a chameleon. You come and go. You come and go. Heart rate is steady. I'm trying to keep it below 150, which is why I'm listening to fun music and not boom boom music. You're right. Let's increase the gear slightly here and go into this hill a little bit faster. Okay, this is corner 19. Gotta love hills. Not Come on, Ryan. I'm fully warmed up now. Corner 18, doing well. Faster gear. 1%, woo! Oh my God. Okay, 7%, 8%, nine. Back into the red. Yes, yes. There are some gnarly hills on this. Come on, Ryan. All right, this is corner 17. And then 16 almost immediately after it. Right, 2%. Increase the gears. Okay, drop the gears. Six percent heel. Ah, oh, ten percent. Easy, ten percent. There's sweat everywhere. Come on. I keep trying to close the gap with people. And then remembering something about you can't really draft unless you're doing 12 or 14 kilometers i can't remember we're doing well though my um 
heart rate has been excellent. We're coming up to corner 16. Increase gears. And we've got a nice long run up to corner 15. That's six out of the 22 corners already done. We're up to 2.65 kilometers of the 12.44 kilometers of the Alp de Zwift. And we're just over 24 minutes in. I'm very happy with my progress. <laughs> I don't want to speak too early, but this is a lot more fun than I was expecting it to be. And I'm catching the pacer, which I lost on like the first corner because I was messing about with the music and the fan. Oh man, I really didn't want to put myself under pressure to try and get a good time. Why is Zwift giving me a pacer? All right, up and over. Up and over the pedals, Ryan. Up and over, bring your legs up. Increase your RPM. Is that the same ghost pacer that was at the bottom of the hill? I don't know. It's a distraction. Yeah, it is. Is that telling me one hour, 11 minutes? No, 111 minutes. Okay, it's not 111 minutes. So that's, what's that, one hour 50? I'll take that, sub two hours. Right, corner 15. Let's take the music out a sec. Corner 15, 2%. We've just blasted through the pacer. That's 111 minutes, if I keep with him. I'll be happy with a sub two hour. Oh my God. Oh God, I love Zwift. How much fun is this? 4%. Oh, practically downhill. I think I needed a longer warm up at the beginning. I didn't want to overdo it and go into it exhausted. We're just coming up to corner 13, which will be the ninth corner. Yeah, so corner 13, I'll give you some. Doing really well. We're significantly ahead of the 111 minute pacer. So we should be on for a good time. It's impressive some of the speed some of these people do this mountain flying past me. So sit rep, we've just gone through 13th corner or the 9th on the way up. Uh, we're 39 minutes up the Alp. We're just over halfway I think. We're 10 kilometers into this ride including the warm up. And 7.8 kilometers left to go, I think it's telling me. Uh, we're significantly ahead of the 111 minute pacer, which is behind me. I wanna keep ahead of that, because that guarantees me a sub two hour finish. Um, yeah, we're nine corners in, nine and a half really. We're coming up to the 12th. Uh, what else to report? Ah, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a salt tablet because I am sweating. Having a fan on you is deceptive because without the fan, I was cycling for quite a long time without the fan, well, about four weeks, and the sweat pours off you, and you know you're losing electrolytes because you feel it. But with a fan on you, it tricks you. I'm also going to have one of these. The pace has caught me. No way.
pick it up later. Oh. Heart rate is good. I've kept it below 150. Whereas I can peak in the six 160s. So I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna use that feather on a hill in a minute because I'd really like to get an aero, an aero boost for the descent back down. I've had my energy gel, I've had my salt tablet. I feel pretty good. My legs aren't tired, but I'm feeling it, if that makes sense. This is fun, this is fun. If I keep saying it, it will be. Man, the pace has caught me again. I need to get my head down and get away from it. This is corner uh, what corner is it? I think I'm gonna use the power up in a minute. This is corner nine, ninth from the top, 13th one so far we've done. Six kilometers left to go, let's do it, it's gone. Now that was fun. Put a bit of distance between me and the pacer. Happy with that? Right, and I need my heart rate to come back down. Jesus. Okay, heart rate's back down. Sub 150. Sit rep, 114.22. We're coming up to corner number eight. Literally on top of it now, that leaves me Seven corners to go. This is the 14th corner. We've climbed. Um, uh, we've got just over 5K. We're 61 minutes into this climb. And I've still got a third way to go. Right, corner seven. That's the 15th corner. Six corners to go. An hour and a half is 90 minutes, so I don't think I'm gonna make an hour and a half. If nothing else, it gets me out of the saddle. Gives my bum a break. Yes. Corner number six. Five corners left to go to the top. I'm still feeling pretty good. Keeping my heart rate below 150 as much as, the, as much as possible. That's really how I can't talk. I'm struggling to talk. Jesus, when you see a 7% heel, 8% heel in races, I, 
I dread them. But seeing a 7% hill, three quarters of the way up, out to Zwift, and I'm looking at it thinking, oh yeah, that's good. Let's push this. Sit rep, 70, nearly 77 minutes into the climb. We have 3.4 kilometers to go. We've done 16 corners out of 22. I've been riding solidly for an hour and 30 minutes. Every time my heart rate drops below 150, I've pushed, didn't need the saurine bars. I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to eat them. I'm not hungry at all. All right, corner number five. Four corners left to go. Let's push. Corner number four, three, count them. Three corners left to go. Okay, so I filled up the memory card on my main camera. I'm annoyed my camera's died. I'm having to use my GoPro. We're just coming up to corner number three, which leaves us two corners left to go. Uh, corner number two, one corner left. One corner left and then the finish line. I can see where I think the finish line is, where the big legs are. Oh my God, I'm nearly two hours into this cycle. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah. Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on, push. Push. Yes! Yes! Give me the aero boost. Give it. Please. Oh, sex P. I've done it. And I did out to Swift in one hour and seven minutes. No. I've done out to Swift in a hundred and seven minutes. Next time. I'll attempt to do it in under an hour and a half. Enjoyed that. Good. Thanks for watching.